Welcome to video tutorial number 44. Separate the sound with F, 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 B. That's fast, fixed, filter, bank, tilde. That's just wavy. Alright, let's get a new patcher window up and make the object itself. Why, you might be thinking, would I want to have a fast fixed filter bank and indeed what in the heck is it? Well, filters come in a variety of types, high pass, low pass filters, and they're all generally for filtering things out and amplifying certain frequencies that you like. Well, it occurred to me that besides building your own graphic equalizer, <sighs> not so interesting, um, you might want to be able to separate sounds to modify video in such a way that, for example, um, low frequencies um, affected the reds, medium frequencies the greens, and high frequencies the blues. So um, if you wanted to separate them out, you would need to use a number of different filters. Well, this has a whole bunch of filter banks all built together already and we are going to use our sort of typical way of going about things, which is to steal them. So let's get the old option click on this for the help file. It's really annoying. Um, unlock this patcher and copy all of this good stuff. So here they we've we've got the stuff. Now we just want to modify the stuff. And the way we're going to do that, let's oops, unlock the patcher. We'll put this up here. I'm not sure if we're going to need it. We'll put this down here. We'll definitely need it. Um, we're going to change this to a three again, just like we did before, because we're we're not complex people. We don't need eight filters. We just need three. And we're going to get rid of this because, as you know, instructions are, are for, for people who don't know what they're doing. And you and I know what we're doing. We're just um, being creative about how we go about it. So um, now we've gotten rid of that, let's look at these things. I'm just going to quickly lock my patcher and just say these are multi-sliders. And if you run your pointer across them, you can see that. Careful, that's gain. We're going to turn that down. Okay, we want to modify these, and the first thing we want to do is select all three of them, and then invoke the inspector, and scroll on down here. I can't see the whole inspector, that's annoying. Um, there we go. So right uh, here is the thing that we're concerned about, the number of sliders. And we just want three. And then we want to get the heck out of here and click somewhere else and zoom out because we don't want to change everything about these because they use different numbers. So now that we have that changed, we can, uh, these are frequencies. We're going to remember that, frequencies hues and gains and then we're going to say frequencies hues and gains to me this makes a more orderly package but maybe it doesn't for you and we don't care about these prepends because they you know what the heck do they do? They just get in our way. So we're going to send them to the back. Send to the back. Go away. Hey. Send to the back. Okay. Thank you. Um, I guess get out of there. Okay. 
So what happens with this? Uh, what, what do these things do, these frequencies, these cues, and these gains? Um, to discover that, actually, let's, let's make something really quickly um, for our fast fixed filter uh, device so that we can actually see it working. Let's go up here and, and uh, make a counter that uh, counts up, up and down, so you put in a 2, and it counts from 20 to uh, uh, 800. No, 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 even higher than that, 1,200. 20 to 1,200, and that's going to be in hertz. And then, of course, we need something to actually operate the counter, and that's going to be a metro, oops, metro, uh, running at 10 milliseconds with a nice toggle over it. Hello, toggle. There you go. And let's move these right up here. Where are you? Come down. Oof, oof, oh. My clicking is so loud, I can't stand it. Okay. And all of this stuff is going to run cycle. No, I don't want to comment. I want a new object with an N and then a cycle tilde. And this number is going to come out of there and it's going to run the cycle up and down and the cycle is going to come blaring out of there zooming over to here careening down to here and right into our fast fixed filter bank and then it will come out uh, with the low frequencies in the left speaker the medium frequencies in the right speaker and the high frequencies in the left speaker again that is how we're planning on doing it but to protect our ears <laughs> what I think we should probably do well let's see if it works and if we need to protect our ears we'll do that later so let's lock the patcher down and come down here this is gain so we're gonna turn the gain way down and uh, we're gonna set the cues in the middle and then we're gonna think of this as a low frequency a mid frequency and a high frequency higher frequency it goes up to 2000 and since we only have it running up to 1200 that's really about here just guessing uh, so there we go let's see how this works go oh well, I hear it oh we forgot something unlock the patcher real quick and oh I know what I hate shut this off. It drives me nuts. Okay. You go away. And then we put a new message called zero. And that's going to be our off button for cycle. And then what we want to do is be able to measure this. So we're going to So let's lock it down again. Reconnect cycle. Whoops, don't that means don't lock it down. First reconnect cycle. You remember turning, shooting, careening, arriving late. And now we hear our cycle. Okay. And if we turn our um, gain controls up, we should be able to see some filtering going on.
gives us a broader input range. separates it out. So let's um, stop this guy and listen to... Uh, I wish we had some music. I think this is the closest thing we have right now. And uh, we'll just play it. And you'll see the difference uh, coming out these three uh, things here. We'll turn this up a bit. And loop it. See if you, if you were trying to separate things, there would be some degree of separation between the highs, the middle, and if uh, like this one seems a little lower, you could boost it up a little. changes frequency pretty regularly, but everything's too high for it, so maybe we'd want to do all this because if you had a sound in, let's just say that you decided to make this thing a, a one giant patcher, um, you could, let's see, unlock it, take it this much of it. Well, you might not even want to do that. It would sort of be nicer just to have this. Hmm. 
to sound, then we could um, run three different effects with it. So let's just go ahead and try to do that. We'll go back over here and get our uh, unlock. Copy this guy. Okay, copy. We'll get back where we were. Unlock it. And paste our sound filter here. Before we do anything, I'm going to open it because I made a mistake here. Which is, so we lock it down. Three outlets. So um, we unlock dispatcher and we copy 